you know, I peep a lot of these no bullying campaigns out here. And I'm like, man, talk about some misplaced freaking energy. <laughs> like, for real, people? Like, bullying is as much a part of the human experience as taking your first steps. I mean, to be honest with you, hell, one of the greatest license lessons that life has to teach you is how to handle bullying, how to learn how to stand up for yourself, how sometimes you might actually be put in a situation where you have to stand up for yourself and you're going to take a L. You're going to get your butt whooped. But you learn that if you stand firm and you give a good representation of yourself, even if that bully wins, guess what he ain't going to do? He ain't going to come back and bully you no more because, shit, he want the easiest target. And he already knows, shoot, if nothing else, and I come bully so-and-so, a fight come with that. And I don't want to fight. I just want to be able to take somebody lunch money. I want to pick on the low-hanging fruit. And one of life's great lessons is making yourself not be one of those low-hanging fruit. Learning the power of making that happen. Bullying is a part of life experience because you're always going to have assholes trying to assert their authority and dominance over you or over other people. And you got to learn how to establish those barriers and parameters and stand for yourself. And it's not always physical. Sometimes it's just taking an intellectual stand. It's taking a moral stand. But the bottom line is you grow from learning how to deal with bullying. We don't need to deal, do away with bullying. What we need to do is do away with retaliation being penalized. Because the bottom line is a part of learning valuable life lessons, sometimes the bully gets to learn what happens when you go around bullying people and the system don't protect you from when they decide they tired of your shit.